Hi, welcome to this tutorial for Lab Center Proteus, Isis, and Aris. In this tutorial, you will be shown how to use Isis to make some PCBs. For that, we'll be simulating and making PCB of this simple 555 timer circuit from UGAF CA. To start, let's start Proteus. Select ISIS Professional, or if it doesn't come, just type. After a while, Proteus will come up. Now, for this circuit, you will need a 555 timer, some resistors, a capacitor, and some batteries. When this window of Proteus comes, you'll first need to place your components. Click on here to go to component mode. And then click on P, that is pick from library, to open the library browser. In this library browser, you can type the sum of the characters of a component name and it will appear automatically. This is the timer oscillator. You'll have to ensure to make a PCB that it has a footprint of the PCB. Otherwise, you have to draw it by yourself. Double click it. It is then added to the library. Now, add the rest of the components. We had a 68K resistor. I think this is it. Then 39k, and I'm just gonna skip this to ensure the video. Here you'll notice that the LEDs don't have a PCB package, so while making the PCB of an LED, it's a bit tricky. We'll come to it later. Right now, we just take any animated LED or active LED, it doesn't matter. So here you go, we have most of the components. We also need the battery. Mm, this one is the DC voltage source. It also doesn't have a PCB package, but we can use a connector to connect an external battery through wires. Here we have a two pin connector that will take the power from outside to the breadboard we are going to use this and so we have most of the components here now to place a component you have to first go to the component mode then click on the name of the component afterwards you have to just single click on the drawing area then click here to place the component I can't show you here, but if you want to zoom in, you have to scroll the third scroll wheel of your mouse. And wherever your mouse pointer is, you will be zoomed to that point only. So the best way to navigate in Proteus is to first zoom out, then take your mouse pointer over where you want to go, and then zoom in again. Zoom out, zoom in. Now let's place the other components here. To rotate a component, you have some options here. Rotate clockwise, rotate anti-clockwise. I'm rotating it and then placing it. To move a component, you have to first take the mouse pointer on it. A red dots appear. Then click on the component then the move sign appears below the mouse. 
afterwards you have to hold and drag the component over to the point where you want to move it there To wire between the components, you have to first take the mouse pointer on the A connection or pin of the wire. Then a red square appears on that pin. Afterwards, you can click on that pin. The wire mode starts anywhere in the screen. You have to take it to another point and then click again to join the wire. You have to red dot, click click again red dot click click again now suppose you have got a typo in the connection then if you want to delete a wrong connection you take the mouse pointer onto that and then right click it one time and select delete wire or double right click to just delete the component you can delete any component by double clicking it. To edit the wires, you have to select the selection mode, then select the wire. Afterwards, you can drag and drop just like Photoshop. Now to place grounds and power connections, you have terminals mode here. You can use bubbles if you like, but here we need the ground portion for giving ground to the IC and the power mode to connect power to connect external power to the circuit we'll use the connector so this is the power connector and we'll connect the power and ground to it so that the PCB can get some power connections from outside. When you have finished editing, first you have to save the design by clicking here. Then give it some name. Afterwards click enter and then your design will be saved.